Okay, today we're making Almond Joy cookies. For the cookie baskets, we're making a really big batch of cookies. Okay, you're going to need six cups of flour into a medium to large size mixing bowl. And we're going to need... Oh! You're going to need four teaspoons of baking soda. The girls are playing hide and seek, so you're going to have to deal with that. And then you're going to need one teaspoon of salt. Nope, my cup must have been moist. One teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then you're going to need a handheld mixer. You could also do this in a stand mixer if you have a paddle bit. Mix that up on very low speed just to get that combined. Ooh, flour dust. Okay, now set this aside. Get rid of the flour dust. Oh my, oh my. Oh my. Okay, next you're going to need one pound of butter. That's four sticks. One cup of white sugar. And two cups of very packed light brown sugar, which is the equivalent of one pound light brown sugar. There we go. And now we're just going to mix this up with our mixer here really well for about two minutes in a very, very large bowl. This is a two-gallon bowl. You're going to want a very large bowl for this. That's convex. That makes it easier to stir. Oh, make sure your butter's room temperature or softer. The softer the butter, the better. Are you kidding me? Ugh, ugh. We just want this to be really smooth. Get our sugar really moistened. That'll make it so your candy isn't sandy. Nobody likes sandy candy. Now, don't take that very far because we're going to need that again in a second. Now we're going to add five room temperature eggs. And we're also going to add two teaspoons of almond extract. Okay, five eggs. Make sure you don't get any shells in there. One and five. And one or two more minutes. <laughs> okay, it's starting to form little strip peaks like frosting. That means we're done. Now we're going to get rid of this hand mixer. And if you're doing this in a stand mixer, I'm sure you could do the next step in a stand stand mixer with a paddle bit. We're going to be adding those five cups of flour, but we're going to do this very slowly. We're going to do this by hand so we don't get dust all over the place. Go slow, unless you want to clean the rest of your kitchen later. Just Use the back of your spoon to keep stirring it in. Oh my, I'm still getting all the flour dust. Go slower. Nah. Okay, let's add some more. Ugh. Mm hmm. Hmm, shit. We forgot to add in the cocoa powder. Motherfucker, we're adding in the cocoa powder. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're supposed to put that in with the flour. One cup of cocoa powder. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No worries, no worries. It's all... Just make sure it's distributed really well. <sighs> Breathing in flour dust over here. Oh, my God. <sighs> Okay, if you're going to cook these right away, you want to start your oven at 350. And I'm just using the back of my spoon to push it down and turn, push it down and turn, push it down and turn. Yep, this part does take a minute. It's so yummy, so tasty. But this is where that convex bowl comes in handy. 
Honey, hold on. We're not ready for that one yet, okay? Oh, that would be a great idea. Hold on just a second. I'm going to trade you places, okay? So we have a helper right here, Chloe. We have, is this a half a cup? I think so. Hmm. Yes. We have a half a cup of smoked salted almonds. And we just got those into a sandwich bag so we can use our meat mallet and crush these into crushed almonds. Wait, if you try to do this on the tile countertop, what do you think will happen? Probably get, I think it will get like scratched. It will break it. It'll crack it because this is glass. Wait, what? Yeah, this is glass. Okay, that you, like we're going to trade Chloe spots while she punches out the nuts. After you get that so incorporated that your arm is aching, because I'm telling you, this is a really stiff dough. Make sure your butter and your eggs are warm, or this will be impossible to stir. What All right, sweetheart. Here? Now we're going to add in this one. Is that one cup? I think so, yeah. No, that's a half cup, but it sure fluffed up, didn't it? Yeah, okay, we're going to add in these chopped almonds. Which are chopped. Yes. Now you're going to add in one cup of sweetened coconut flakes. Make sure they're sweetened or won't taste correct. And now we're going to add in chocolate. one cup of white chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Which I, the white I gives it pretty color. Okay, now you're going to incorporate this in. Mm-hmm. I know oh, I doesn't that smell know. good? Smell it. Yeah, it does. Mm, does it smell like a candy bar that you can think of? Mm, no. I'll give you oh, a yes. hint. It's I know what kind of candy bar that tastes like this one. What? It has peanuts inside of it. What is it? Mm. It was like a big bar I had on Halloween. Is it got a blue wrapper? Yes. Oh, yes. What was You're it? correct. What was its name? Almond Joy. Oh, this kind of looks like Almond Joy. It smells like it. It doesn't look like it. Oh, um, so it smells like, like it. it. Yes. Gonna, I kind of. Gonna, mm. I know I cannot lick the spoon. <laughs> nope, it has eggs in it. I know. That's why I don't want to lick the spoon. That's right. You do not want to eat this kind of cookie dough. But after you get that mixed up really well, and if you get to the bottom, there's a little bit of flour. Just mix it in as you see it. Don't don't stress it. It's still going to come out perfect. You're going to do three. I'm going to do one. Then you're going to do three more by yourself, and we'll see if yours look beautiful as mine. Okay. Okay. So you're just going to grab about two teaspoons. And usually I use a cookie pr uh, cookie ball thing for every single cookie I make. But these ones here are much, they got too many chunks. You won't get them distributed evenly with a scoop. Yes. So I the longer you let this sit, the less sticky it will become too. Okay, so you get a ball about like this. And now okay. you dip it uh. only on one side. You dip it in that coconut, and then, oops, hold on, then, I'm doing the first one, remember, you make sure you leave it into a ball, and then, oops, that's only a half of a nut, you want a whole nut, you yes. put one nut right on top, and you just press the nut in, and you leave it in a ball, and you want all this coconut sticking up, because when we bake it, that's going to get super sweet golden brown. Okay, no, you let Grandma do the balls, and then I'll hand them to you. And, put them and then you can see them. if yours are going to be Just like the yours. same as mine. Let's see your cookie skills. Don't squish the ball. You got to try to keep it in a bowl. Keep doing it. Okay, that kind of looks Mm, that doesn't really have very much coconut on it, sweetheart. Yes, it and you need to push it just a little bit so it gets a lot of coconut on it. Like there you go. Now let's see. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now don't squish it. Wait. It's too close. 
to blow. You gotta get it scooted over a little. Okay. This in the middle. Don't squish it too flat. But you gotta, you gotta like squish it enough. Cake. <laughs> like a Let's try to do it backwards and see if it works. Give me one nut. Put one nut right on there. And then just in, wait, just enough that it sticks. And then <laughs> you dip it in the coconut. Wait, we can yes, do it that's the best way because that made the nut too. easy to stick, and we didn't smush our cookie ball. Grandma, can I try to make the ball? Sure, let me give you the right amount. And be careful, it's very melty right now. Okay. Mm. This is how you look. The, the rest of this we're going to put into a gallon Ziploc in the freezer until we're ready to bake for the day to fill our cookie baskets. And then everything uh. will be very fresh baked cookies. Okay. No stale cookies. Uh. Now smush it just a little so the coconut sticks, but not too much. Now, let me see. Oh, my. Look at that. You did a great job. Very good. All right. Now, you leave these into a ball shape. You don't want to push them down. Gonna now, we're going to bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. Hey, Grandma, can we do some more? No, we're just going to do four today because these are for our family. Oh. Yes. Do we have they, four family? No. This is one for you, one for Michaela, one for me, one for Grandpa. We're having to, we're just having a little sample. Okay. This okay. Is so you're going to bake these at 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. We already know that these take 11 minutes. So see you in 11 minutes. All right. And this is how they look after they get done cooking. Look at all that toasted coconut on top. Makes it super sweet. And then you just let them cool for about 10 minutes before you try to break them off the cookie sheet. And then you just give them a little twist. Okay, let me break one of these in half for you so you can see the inside. Mm -mm -mm. Chocolatey goodness. And these taste even better the next day. So don't be afraid to cook them a day ahead of time. We'll see you next time. It's a pretty cookie.